Hello everyone, my name is Ali Akbar. Today I am going to explain about what are the key difference between SI and CI engines and also about the 4 stroke and 2 stroke engines. Now in order to explain this, I have somewhat arranged this in kind of what we can say a game setup, in which I have left the decision in your hand to decide which engine is superior. But at the end I just want to say that each type of engine has their own ability to work based on the different environmental conditions. Now moving forward, let us first discuss about the basic about what are the basic difference between SI and CI. Now let's begin. First is fuel used. In SI engines, petrol or gasoline is used as fuel, while in compressed ignition engines, diesel is used as fuel. Next is type of cycle used. In the case of SI engines, the auto cycle is used. In this cycle, addition of heat or fuel combustion occurs at a constant volume. The basis of working of CI engine is the diesel cycle. In this cycle, the addition of heat or fuel combustion occurs at a constant pressure. Next is introduction of fuel in the engine. In the case of CI SI engine, during the piston suction stroke, a mixture of air and fuel is injected from cylinder head portion of the cylinder. The air fuel mixture is injected via the carburetor that controls the quality and the quantity of the injected mixture. While in the case of CI engines, fuel is injected into the combustion chamber towards the end of the compression stroke via fuel injector. The fuel starts burning instantly due to the high pressure. Next is ignition of fuel. By nature, petrol is a highly volatile liquid but its self-ignition temperature is very high. Hence for the combustion of this fuel, a spark is necessary to initiate its burning process. To generate this spark in SI engines, the spark plug is placed in the cylinder head of the engine. The voltage is provided to the spark plug either from the battery or from the magnetor. With diesel, the, the self-ignition temperature is comparatively lower. When diesel fuel is compressed to high pressure, its temperature also increases beyond the self-ignition temperature of the fuel. Hence, in the case of CI engines, the ignition of fuel occurs due to compression of the air-fuel mixture and there is no need for spark plug. Now, next is compression ratio for the fuel. In the case of SI engine, the compression ratio of the fuel is in the range of 6 to 10 depending on the size of the engine and the power to be generated. In CI engines, the compression ratio for air is 16 to 20. The high compression ratio of air creates high temperature which ensures the diesel fuel can self-ignite. Now next is weight of the engine. In CI engines, the compression ratio is higher which produces high pressure inside the engine. And to withstand this high pressure, the wall of the engines are made thicker to increase their strength. And this is one of the reasons why diesel engines are not usually preferred in bike as they increases the weight of the bike. And the vibration makes the ride wearsome. Hence CI engines are heavier than SI engines. Not only this, but the CI engines also contain sophisticated equipments like fuel pump, injector which adds more weight compared to SI engines. Now next is thermal efficiency. In the case of CI engines, the value of compression ratio is higher. Hence, these engines have the potential to achieve higher thermal efficiency. In the case of SI engine, the lower compression ratio reduces its potential to achieve higher thermal efficiency. Next is torque. The torque generated by CI engines are very high when compared to their counterpart SI engines. This is because the CI engines work at high compression ratio and so the piston travels far more distance into the cylinder and so the radius of crank also increases. Since torque is cross product of force and radius, therefore this increase in radius causes an increase in torque. The above is one of the many factors contributing to high torque of CI engines. And this is the reason why almost all the truck and heavy vehicle uses CI engines while passenger vehicles and bike uses SI engines. Now next is speed achieved by the engine. Petrol or SI engines are lightweight and the fuel is homogeneously burned, hence achieving very high speed. CI engines are heavier and the fuel is burned heterogeneously, hence producing lower speed. 
One of the other reason for this is the increase in crank radius in case of diesel engine. Now next is vibrations. Vibration produced by CI engines are very high when compared with SI engine. This is because of the high compression ratio used. Next is volume to power ratio. Volume to power ratio of SI engine is low when compared to CI engines. And that is one of the reason why CI engines are costlier because the volume of combustion chamber of the diesel engine that will produce the same power as the petrol engine is large. And so more material is consumed to make it and this adds to the overall cost. Now next is starting. Starting a, CI, starting a SI engine is much easier than starting an CI engine because of high compression ratio. If you had done your bachelor's in mechanical or automobile stream, you would have felt this by the way you had started the engines by using a hand crank. Now last is maintenance. Maintenance cost of SI engines are low when compared to CI engines because of the high fatigue stress that is caused in CI engines. Now, now moving forward. Let us discuss about what are the basic difference between 4 stroke and 2 stroke engines. Now first is stroke. The piston in a 4 stroke engine makes 4 stroke that drive the crankshaft. Whereas in the piston in a 2 stroke engine makes 2 stroke that drives the crankshaft. Next is cycle. The 2 stroke engine completes one cycle of event for every revolution of the crankshaft compared with the two revolution required for the four stroke engine cycle. Now next is weight and cost. A two stroke engine is easier to construct sin since it has no valves. This make it lighter and cheap to manufacture. A four stroke engine requires elaborate valves to operate effectively making it heavy and expensive to assemble. Next is power stroke two stroke engines fires once every revolution whereas four stroke engine fires once every other revolution this gives two stroke engines a significant power boost that is two stroke engines has the potential for about twice the power in the same size because there are twice as many power stroke per revolution with a power stroke every revolution instead of every second revolution the, se the two stroke engine will learn run smoother than the four stroke power unit for the same size of flywheel. Next is lubrication. A two-stroke engine requires no oil sump. Lubrication of the two-stroke engine is achieved by mixing small quantities of oil with petrol in proportion anywhere between 1 is to 16 and 1 is to 24. So that when crankcase induction takes place, the various rotating and reciprocating components will be lubricated by a petrol mixture mist. Clearly. A continuous portion of oil will be burnt in the cylinder and expelled into the atmosphere to, uh, to add to unwanted exhaust emission. The oil mixed with the gas does not adequately lubricate the engine. It is therefore not likely to last long. The cost of the short life and that of mixing oil with its fuel makes them expensive in the long run. A four-stroke engine does not require oil mixed with the gas and so it is cheaper to run. Next is cooling. Unlike the four stroke engine, the two stroke engine does not have the luxury of separate exhaust and induction stroke to cool both the cylinder and the piston between power strokes. There is therefore a tendency for the piston and small end to overheat under heavy driving condition. Next is MEP that is mean effective pressure. In practice, the two stroke engine's expelling of the exhaust gases and filling of the cylinder with fresh mixture brought in through the crankcase is far less effective than having separate exhaust and induction stroke. Thus, the mean effective cylinder pressure in two stroke units are far lower than in equivalent four stroke engine. Next is expansion of burned gases. The expansion of burned gases in a four stroke engine is carried out via piston whereas in a two stroke engine is carried out via process via process named scavenging now due to its inferior scavenging process the two stroke engine can suffer from the following that is inadequate transfer of fuel mixture into the cylinder 
excessively large amounts of residual exhaust gas remaining in the cylinder direct expulsion of fresh air through the exhaust port this undesired condition may occur due under different speed and load situations which greatly influences both power and fuel consumption of a two stroke engine now next is based on the pollution two stroke engines are not so effective efficient in burning fuel for this reason they pollute the environment more than the four stroke engine next is based on application the piston in a four stroke engine makes four stroke that drives the crankshaft due to their weight and the number of filings that drive the crankshaft these engines can only produce low but su su sustained amount of energy that is ideal for use in things like trucks that need to go long distance without stopping by contrast the two stroke engine is capable of producing quick and sudden burst of power that are not self sustained for a long period of time this makes it ideal for use in chainsaw and jet skis that stop from time to time and that's it for today's class thank you very much for being with me till the end i i hope that you all have gained some basic information about what are the difference between si and ci engines and four and four and two stroke engines in my next lecture i am going to show how to derive the equations of the efficiency of si engine and ci engine please hit the like and subscribe button below and stay connected for the future classes bye bye see you all again in my next lecture thank you